The people that walked in darkness have seen a great light. They that live in the land of shadow of death, upon them hath the light shined. For unto us a child is born, unto us a son is given, and the government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God, the Everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Of the increase of his government and peace there shall be no end. Upon the throne of David and upon his kingdom, to order it and to establish it with judgment and justice from henceforth even forever. The zeal of the Lord of hosts will perform this. Thanks be to God. And said, 
Hail thou that art highly favoured, the Lord is with thee, blessed art thou among women. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying, and cast in her mind what manner of salutation this should be. And the angel said unto her, Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found favour with God. And behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb, and bring forth a son, and shalt call his name Jesus. He shall be great, and shall be called the Son of the Highest. And the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David. And he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever, and of his kingdom there shall be no end. Then said Mary unto the angel, How shall this be, seeing I know not a man? And the angel answered and said unto her, The Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. And, behold, thy cousin Elizabeth, she hath also conceived a son in her old age, and this is the sixth month with her, who was called Barry. For with God nothing shall be impossible. And Mary said, Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. And the angel departed from her.
Christmas Carol by Charles Dickens. In an attempt to teach him about the joys of Christmas, Ebenezer Scrooge is taken on a night flight across the British Isles by the ghost of Christmas present. By this time, it was getting dark and snowing pretty heavily. And as Scrooge and the Christmas spirit went along the streets, the brightness of the roaring fires in kitchens, parlours, and all sorts of rooms was wonderful. Here, the flickering of the blaze showed preparations for a cosy dinner, with hot plates baking through and through before the fire, and deep red curtains ready to be drawn to shut out cold and darkness. The spirit did not tarry here, but bade Scrooge hold his room, and on passing his bed with her, not to see, to see, built upon a dismal reef of sunken rocks, some league or so from shore, there stood a solitary lighthouse. But even here, two men who watched the light had made a fire, joining their ancient hands over the rough table at which they sat. They wished each other a Merry Christmas. One of them, the elder, with his face all damaged and scarred with hard weather, struck up a sturdy song that was like a gale in itself. Again, the ghost sped on, above the black and heaving sea, on, on, until, being far away, they lighted on a ship. They stood beside the helmsman at the wheel, the lookout in the bow, the officers who had the watch. They were dark, ghostly figures, but every man among them hummed a Christmas tune, or had a Christmas thought, or spoke to his companion of some bygone on Christmas Day, with homeward hopes belonging to it. And every man on board, waking or sleeping, good or bad, had a kinder word for another on that day than on any day in the year. Every man shared to some extent in his festivities and remembered those he cared for far away and knew that they delighted to remember him.
And it came to pass in those days that there went out a decree from Caesar Augustus that all the world should be taxed. And all went to be taxed, everyone into his own city. And Joseph also went up from Galilee out of the city of Nazareth to Judea to the city of David which is called Bethlehem because he was of the house and lineage of David. He went to be taxed with Mary his espoused wife being great with child and so it was that, while they were there, the days were accomplished, that she should be delivered. And she brought forth her firstborn son, and wrapped him in swaddling clothes, and laid him in a manger, because there was no room for them in the inn. And there were, in the same country, Shepherds abiding in the field, keeping watch over their flock by night. The angel of the Lord appeared, and the glory of the Lord shone around them, and they were afraid. And the angel said unto them, Fear not, for I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. For unto you is born this day in the city of David a Saviour, which is Christ the Lord. And this shall be a sign to you, you shall find a babe, the babe wrapped in swaddling clothes, lying in a manger. Suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and say, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill to all men. Thanks be to God.
by Christina Rosetti. Before the winter morn, before the earliest cockcrow, Jesus Christ was born, born in a stable, cradled in a manger, in the world his hands had made. Born a stranger, priest and king lay fast asleep. In Jerusalem, young and old lay fast asleep. In crowded Bethlehem, saint and angel, ox and ass, kept a watch together. Before the Christmas daybreak, in the winter weather, Jesus on his mother's breast, in the stable cold. Spotless Lamb of God was he, shepherd of the fold. Let us kneel with Mary May, with Joseph bent and hoary, with saint and angel, ox and ass, to hail the King of Glory. If I were a shepherd, I would bring him a lamb. If I were a wise man, 
I would do my part. Yet what can I give him? Give him my heart. Matthew, chapter 2, 
verses 1 to 12. Now, when Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the times of Herod the king, there came wise men from the east to Jerusalem, saying, Where is he that is born king of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. When Herod had heard these things, he was troubled and all Jerusalem with him. And when he had gathered all the chief priests and scribes of the people together, he demanded of them where Christ should be born. And they said to him, in Bethlehem, of Judea, for it is written by the prophet, and thou Bethlehem, in the land of Judah, are not the least amongst the princes of Judah, for out of thee shall come a governor that shall rule my people Israel. Then Herod, when he had secretly called the wise men, inquired of them what time the star appeared. And he sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the young child. And when you have found him, bring me word again that I may come and worship him also. When they had heard the king, they departed. And the star which they saw in the east went before them till it came and stood over where the young child was. When they saw the star, they rejoiced with exceeding great joy. And when they were come into the house, they saw the young child with Mary, his mother, and fell down and worshipped him. And when they opened their treasures, they presented unto him gifts, gold, and frankincense, and myrrh. And, being warned by God in a dream that they should not return to Herod, they departed into their own country another way. Thanks be to God.
Ring Out Wild Bells by Alfred Lord Tennyson. Ring out, wild bells, to the wild sky, the flying cloud, the frosty light. The year is dying in the night. Ring out, wild bells, and let him die. Ring out the old, ring in the new. Ring happy bells across the snow. The year is going, let him go. Ring out the false, ring in the true. Ring out the grief that saps the mind. For those that here we see no more. Ring out the feud of rich and poor. Ring in redress for all mankind. Ring out the slowly dying cause and ancient forms of party strife. Ring in the nobler modes of life with sweeter manners, purer laws. Ring out the want, the care, the sin, the faithless coldness of the times. Ring out, ring out my mournful rhymes but ring the fuller minstrel in. Ring out false pride in place and blood, the civic slander and the spite. Ring in the love of truth and right, ring in the common love of good. Ring out old shapes of foul disease, ring out the narrowing lust of gold, ring out the thousand wars of old, ring in the thousand years of peace. Ring in the valiant man and free, the larger heart, the kindlier hand. Ring out the darkness of the land. Ring in the Christ that is to be. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him, and without him was not anything made that was made. In him was life, and the life was the light of all men. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness comprehended it not. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. He came for a witness, to bear witness of the light, so that all men through him might believe. He was not that light, but was sent to bear witness of that light. That was the true light, which gives light to every man that cometh into the world. He was in the world, and the world was made by him, 
and the world knew him not. He came unto his own, and his own received him not. But as many as received him, to them he gave power to become the sons of God, even to them which were born not of blood, nor of the will of the flesh, nor of the will of man, but of God. And the word was made flesh and dwelt among us. We beheld his glory, the glory of the one and only Son, who came from the Father, full of grace and truth.
Now we're going to bring this Mountbatten Christmas service to a close with a final blessing. So let us pray. May the joy of the angels, the eagerness of the shepherds, the perseverance of the wise men, the obedience of Joseph and Mary, and the peace of the Christ child be yours this Christmas. And may you all go with the blessing of God Almighty. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen.